their emotions are critical to awakening well, the whole concept of spiritual bypassing right. that emotion should somehow be put away into a cupboard and you should be just this bliss bunny every moment yeah, you start to become a witness of the emotion and it, it taught me how to be healthy right? because they want to come through the body just like weather you don't have to be scared of having a bad day I mean, I, I know so, I had I an had autoimmune disease as a kid and, you know, very, very sick child. And, and as a result, though, is looking at it and it, it taught me how to be healthy, right? It taught yes. me, like, the power of respecting my body, of understanding nutrition, of doing all these things. Had I not had that, my body was doing something divine, so then I could help pass that on to others, right? You know, it wasn't, you know, but if I shamed myself and said I'm so embarrassed or this or that or how people do that to others, then they don't see the gifts. They don't see the other laws that might be going on and playing. And they don't, in, in that whole picture, they don't understand the connections or the lessons. Yes, I really love that. I love that. I had I had a couple years actually, 2017 to 2019, where um, I sprained both knees, and for a good part of those two years, I could barely walk, let alone do yoga and bike. And I'm a super active person, and so during that time, I just had to stop. And somebody said to me, "Wow, you really need to look at why you manifested that, or you know what was going on." And, and <laughs> What really happened was that I came, first of all, the money book never would have gotten completed if I hadn't had that um, injury because I, I was stopped in my tracks and it was basically what got me to complete the book. But also it completely changed my relationship to my body, just like you're talking about. It was like I learned to... I was somebody that grew up as an athlete, so I was always going, 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 really, for forever, for decades. And it was the first time that I was like, wow, I need to actually stop, listen more, rest more. This body isn't just a machine that can run up mountains every day. And it's really been great. It's actually, it's much easier for me for now for my body to be in balance. Yeah. And then I, I, on top I top of that, the other thing that happened is you were able to be a vessel for service, too, and creating the book right. and finishing yeah, it. Yeah, the book would not have happened if I hadn't been injured in a million years. It never would have happened. So I love when you're saying, what are you doing? Like, this could be you doing everything right when you get injured. Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and that was, you know, the divine working through you and allowing you to have these realizations and to create something that's going to change, you know, so many people's lives. But on the other hand, it was really, it's really hard when you're in that stuff. Oh, so of course. It's not it's, it's it. It. it was painful. <laughs> but then you look back later and you're like, oh, okay. Yeah. Because it's, it's not about not feeling your emotions either. And that's what I love, too, is that so many people in the spiritual world, they're all about, you know, happiness and joy and sunshine every day. And there's something wrong with you if you're if you're upset or if you are, you know, uh, having a difficult time, right, dealing with your circumstances. And, you know, I like the coconut example of like the co give, putting everything in the coconut, smashing it, right? You know, it's like you can have emotions. <laughs> well, I would I would even say emotions are critical. Their emotions are critical to awakening. You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button, the red one. You know the one. Just press it. Little like. All right, enjoy the rest of this content. I would actually say that, that this idea that emotions, this well, the whole concept of spiritual bypassing, that emotion should somehow be put away into a cupboard and you should be just this bliss bunny every moment, really creates a lot of tragedy in people's lives. And I think that what, you know, really starts to happen is you... Well, Pema Chodron's written about it. Thousands of people have written about it. You start to become a witness of the emotion as opposed to the one who's just lost in it. So you start to let yourself have them all because they want to come through the body just like weather. 
And I think, again, it's a kind of odd legacy of this black and white, uh, rigid, fundamentalist thinking that if you, if I run a forum online, it's called the Living Outrageous Openness Forum, and it helps people learn how to live this way. And in that forum, people can find it on my website, but in that forum, so often people say, I was so scared to feel my anger because somebody told me I would manifest something if I ever felt it. Or I was so scared to feel my fear because somebody said bad things would come if I ever indulged it. But in fact, what they find is that if you can feel these things, you let them go. If you don't feel them, they stay lodged in the cells of your body and your being. And they just come out in very surprising and alarming ways sometimes. Yeah, I, I, I call it the jack-in-the-box effect. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God, I love that. Oh, oh. Yeah. They have to come out, you know? They, yeah. they come out, yeah. you've got some weird, smiley, pasted face, and then at the same time, you know, it just comes out somewhere else in your body it has to yeah and 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 then you're then you're then you're truly manifesting what you don't want <laughs> well that's the irony that is the irony of it isn't it it's kind of interesting i think that the um to go back for a second to this idea of offering mm -hmm. that you're learning how to offer and really hand these burdens and des even desires can be offered it's not that this path is about getting rid of desires but you're really handing it all to this force of love you don't have to be scared of having a bad day you don't have to be scared of having you don't have to be have that pressure that you always have to keep your mind in some pristine state of god knows what because what you're really simply doing is being open to the expression of the flow coming through you and knowing that something greater than the ego is actually the manifester. If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have an amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time, have a beautiful, blessed day.